have a list here of frequently asked questions, and I would like to make this sortable using drag and drop. Now in the past I've done this using prototype and the sortable element helper method, but both of those have been moved out of Rails, so how do we accomplish this in Rails 3.1? Well, let me show you. Here we will accomplish this using jQuery UI, because it makes it very easy to make a list sortable using drag and drop. And there are all kinds of options that you can pass into this to really customize the behavior too. Adding this to a Rails 3.1 app is extremely easy. You don't even need to download it. All you have to do is go into your application.js file and then add a line that says require jQuery UI, and that's it. Now here's what that index template looks like that is listing our frequently asked questions. Let's first give our list here an ID so that we can e easily reference it. Now each list item needs an ID as well so that we can uniquely identify it when it gets submitted. And it needs to have the format of the name of the model and then underscore and then the ID of the model. So we could just toss the FAQ ID in here, but there's also another way to do this. And that is with a helper method called content tag four. You can pass in the name of the tag and the model, and that'll give you that tag with that given ID that matches exactly how we want. So I will use that here. I'll just call content tag four, pass in the name of the element I want, and then the model with a block, and then end it down here. By the way, it's important that this block has an equal sign because it's outputting content. And now we can add the sorting behavior inside of our FAQ's CoffeeScript file. So let's just call jQuery to make sure the DOM is loaded. And then we can call uh, FAQ's, get our list there and just call sortable on this. And now when we reload the page here, you can see that we can drag and drop the items and sort them just as easy as that. Now there are various options you can pass into the sortable method, such as the axis option, which we can set to Y to make sure it only sorts vertically. We can also pass in an update uh, function into here for a callback, and let's just see what happens when this gets triggered. Let's say updated. You can see now when I drag and drop an item, it only goes up and down vertically, and when I let go, it triggers that update callback. And when that happens, we will need to phone home and tell our Rails application that the item has been updated so that it stores the position, because right now if we reload, you can see it falls back to the old position. First, we need to store the chosen position. So let's generate a migration file that adds a position column to our frequently asked questions, and it will just be an integer type. And then migrate the database. And then in the index action of the FAQ's controller, I want to order our frequently asked questions by this position column. But I still need a controller action to handle the updating of the positions. And right now I just have the seven standard RESTful style controller actions, but none of them do quite what we want. The update action comes close, but I'm looking for something to update uh, the sorting position of multiple items at one time. So here I'll make a new action called sort, and then for now I'll just have it render nothing. And I also need to add that custom action to the routes file. In the FAQ's resource here, I can say collection and then pass in a post call to the sort action there. Now put might make a bit more sense here, but post will be a lot more convenient for us. And now back in the coffee script, instead of displaying an alert when the list gets updated, let's make a post request to that sort action. Now I don't like putting URLs directly in the coffee script like this, so let's add a data attribute on our list. And so back in the template, I will add a data attribute here on this list, and let's call it update URL, and let's set it to the sort FAQs URL. Now we can access that through this, which is the list element, and then calling data update URL on that. And then we need to pass each list item position to this, and we could do that with a call to sortable serialize. And that'll just wrap up all the items and send them off to that action. And now when we reload the page and change the position of an item, it will trigger that controller sort action. And if you check out the development log, you can see how those parameters are being passed in. You can see we have a FAQ parameter with an array of FAQ IDs, and these are in the order that we sorted them in. So now in the controller sort action, we can fetch those parameters and then update each of them by looping through each with the index. So we have our ID in the index, and let me expand this here. Now I'm going to use update all here for performance reasons so it does it all in one query. So we need to uh, set our position to the index plus one because it's zero based. And then we want to only do that for the given ID. 
And now let's try it out. Let's reload our page here and then try changing the sort order and reload the page again and notice the order stays. Awesome. Now one thing you may want to do is instead of having the entire item be draggable is adding a little handle section here so you, they know they can drag that. So for each item in this list, let's say drag and then we will wrap this in a span tag with a class of handle. And then inside of the coffee script, we can specify the sortable handle as the handle class. And then I'm also going to add some styling to the FAQ's CSS file. You can see it's a little smaller, a grayer color, and I'm also going to change the cursor to move so that they know they can drag it. And now when we reload this page here, you can see we have a nice little drag handle here that we can click and drag. We get a nice little cursor change so that they know they can move it around. Now we do have one other issue I want to address here, and that is if we add a new frequently asked question, it's going to have a null position attribute, and it would be nice if the position automatically incremented when we add new records. Now we can accomplish this using the axe as list gem, so I'll just add that to the gem file and run the bundle command to install it. Now you may think that this gem is old and out of date, but it's currently being well maintained by Swan and Ponies. And then in the FAQ model, just add a call to axe as list, and that's it. That'll automatically increment the position column and also handle other features such as moving items up and down the list. And that's it for this episode. We now have a feature complete list where we can drag and drop it to set the order. Hope you enjoyed it.